Oh, that's just wrong with William down here. That ain't what I was looking for. No. Say what? I don't get it. What the hell? Right there. Oh. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Oops. I hope I don't lose my crew. I could use some more time in the co-pilot's chair, Captain. Crap. If I lost my crew, I'm gonna be bent. This blows junk. Chase them all back down. Glad you're back. I was starting to think you went AWOL. <laughs> you better have a ship services technician. What is this one of my ships now? Crap. Just what I need. Hello, Captain. Crimson Fleet Marauder. Nothing like the smell of a dead shark after you cook him with an energy blast. Where? <sighs> Need something? Private Flare. Oh, come on. I need my ship back. Oh, what a bunch of garbage. Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. The fleet protects our own, but you turn against us, and you're dead. Every time I see Radley smile, I want to punch him in the face. Cargo bay. I don't know. I gotta get my shit back. Uh... Can I just travel to... the den? 
Let's see. <laughs> I need my ship. Oh, gee. No shield. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Now I need my shit back. If I lost my crew, I'm gonna be bent. That was a pain in the ass to collect all these people. Anything I can help you with? We're asking everyone to take care of it. Sure, how about it? <sighs> Crew one, oh my god. You're kidding me. Oops. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh no. I got to rehire that one. Kidding me? What a bunch of crap! Now I gotta go dock somewhere. Boy, you guys really know how to fuck up a guy's day. There's no excuse for this kind of horse shit. My crew should always be assigned to my ship. better not have to rehire this person or any of them actually but I probably got to go fly to the outpost now great what a waste of time okay uh now that I've Hang on. Scavenging energies. Am 
Mantis K. Okay, you just can't leave them homeless very long, I guess. Now, wait a minute. Some of these people I unassigned a long time ago. I think. I don't know. Okay. It looks like we got to go turn into evidence. some evidence uh, oh what a pain in the butt yeah I don't like all this messing around crap Yeah, I, I didn't even dawn on me until I got to that door and I'm like, I hope I don't have to lose my crew. <laughs> yep. I found all this out the hard way when I stole a ship. So, I don't steal them anymore. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Oh, yeah, I gotta go up here. Gotta keep my superiors in the loop. I think that's how it works. I don't know. Yes. What? Where it is, the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvorov. It's good to have you back. Well, what can I do for you? Spookier than a pirate. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Any other fragments? All right. Keep up the good work. They're pirates in every sense of the word, but they've managed to get more organized under their current leadership. That makes them especially dangerous, but hopefully it makes them a little more predictable, too. I doubt it. Two reasons. First, Commander Akande's playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Ah. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. Makes sense. Okie dokie. We'll be here if you need us. Okay, is that mission out of there? Oh. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. Nope, not really. They got a whole city. They got a whole city. Oh, 
least for my first playthrough. <laughs> On the next one, then we'll see what the other side of this mission is. Stopping by for about. a chin wag, Captain? Um You look well today. Why are Oh boy, I got everybody mixed up now. See, do I have all my digits? Um, I only have three in grab drive instead of four or five. Crap. Okay, I got people mixed up somehow. something no no I'm pretty sure I can find it where's the elevator ha learning <laughs> you're farther upstairs there you, there you are the hell took you so long I had to get my ship back it's man. about time I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. Not at that. now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. No. Nope. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably yep. loaded with credits. Yup. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Yeah. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. That will be hard. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, uh -huh. which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Maybe. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? <laughs> Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. 
which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. Woohoo! And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. <laughs> Keel hauler. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Sounds like Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. Yep. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. No problem. You'd better. Oh, before you leave. I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's it, then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Yes, sir, betcha. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Mathis. If you have any last questions about the job, ask them now. Doesn't look like I have any questions about the job. I have to speak to Mathis about what? has something strong enough to knock me out. I can knock you out. Oh. oh, he's this way. As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. Maybe he's not. Uh... This way. This way. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. Why do I have to talk to people I have no interest in? Hmm. I mean, he wanted to backstab Delgado. That's about it. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. Mm -hmm. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. All right. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out uh -huh. there. You sure bet you. Could come in handy to have something over on somebody anyway, right? Good. Not sure if it would. Music in the Nova will get you in the mood for a job. Better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking. I'm not slacking. There slackin'. you are. Ah, I'm right here. Right Ooh, there's a magazine on the table. I've been lining table. up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. Uh-huh. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. Uh -huh. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. Okay. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, Swiping those gal bank credentials. I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. You sure betcha. <laughs> Why can't I? Oh. No, 
Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. But I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. Okay. Oh, pff, come on. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. <laughs> if I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Oh, come on. Look, I you can make all the jokes funny. and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm going to deduct it from your pay. Sir, yes, sir. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Got it. Then it's settled. Good. All right. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. You betcha, right after I swipe this magazine off the table. Oh, yeah, hey, a good because question. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. Yeah, okay. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Sounds fair enough. We'll talk later. You sure about you. Grunt issue number four. <laughs> nice. Maybe. We haven't decided. Hey, don't say steal. What the hell you mean you have? Well, Bogs, just, grog, huh? we were thinking, why is it every Shouldn't you be heading to the siren by now? Job, yeah, you I'm just getting to up with all Ooh, our cred free credit. My friend's got a point, Bog. Every pirate in this joint comes to the Nova for a drink. Any Seems to me, stuff? instead of trawling deep space for stick change, we got a much bigger target right here at home. All right. A lot of jingle in those pockets. Need a drink? Bog no. at the last Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. Um, do I need to check in with these other people first? Let's see if my mission got updated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I can just follow all this until the end, and then that. Every one. time I see Radley smile, I want turn to it in all at once. Face. I think. I hope. Save me a lot of running back and forth. Now, as long as I don't lose my ship again, I should be fine. I might have to build a second outpost, rearrange everybody. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. Captain, hello. Hello. I am. Let's go to work. <laughs> How's it going? I forget where I picked up Ezekiel. Maybe it was the Kila City. I don't remember. See anything interesting today? Not yet. Hi there, Captain.
Maybe they can give me some inside details. Maybe. Possibly. Anything to help me. Good day, Captain. Not missing. Easier. Definitely don't take no followers if you gotta do any sneaking. <clears throat> yes? Yo, back. So how did it go? Uh... Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. <laughs> Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever, and for some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer, Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. <laughs> it's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Oh, good. 20,000 credits? Damn it. We're getting rich. Hey. We're getting paid on both sides. Pretty neat. It is a pretty neat quest line. Huh. Now we're gonna go do some infiltrating.
And they're just gonna let me dock, why? Let me dock, okay. Speak, sir. Rock. How can I be of service, Captain? About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I'll be trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns. And in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. Well, that, that can't so be Nita's true. message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? <laughs> Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Hey, that sounds good. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average crimson fleet prey. Why the interest? <laughs> Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. Uh -huh. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. Awesome. 
This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Awesome. He's a VIP executive, which means he either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder. From what I've heard, it's the second option. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Uh -huh. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Yeah, that would be a bad anyway, idea. I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. You sure betcha. They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. Uh -huh. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. <laughs> True. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. Awesome. What's the status of your plan? I'm still... Okay. Then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. Uh -huh. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen, not fresh. <laughs> Okie dokie. What is this? Speak to Sheila. Why would I kill him? Ask the society patrons. I hope I didn't accidentally shortcut something. Wow. Okay. So we need to talk to Sheila, lady. And ask the society members. Okay. I really wish I could set certain parts of this to active. Trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship. With triple redundancy in almost every internal system. Okay. I think that's the right area. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, that don't look like a ballroom. So what we do? It says ballroom. This is one of Trident's top-of-the-line vessels. 
Hell of a ship, isn't it? Mm. Say what? No, that ain't. No way. Where These newer vessels are more or less run autonomously, which doesn't leave much for the crew to do around here. Okay, now it's looking more like a uh, where we're supposed to mingle expert. <laughs> That's it. Um ballroom. What? I was in the right place the first time? The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. Oh. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Is oh. this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Okay, we got a path speech check. I'm pretty sure of it. Yes. I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Mm. Why do you ask? Yes, it's quite marvelous, isn't it? Absolutely priceless. Alas, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the ceremony to see it in all its glory. It's far too valuable to be left anywhere else except the master safe located at the purser's office. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. You are rude. Discover how have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. So, what brings you aboard? Hello, are you a member of the Society? Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the Society, eh? Here for business? Our pleasure. The Society Chair has really outdone herself this time. The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. That award is such a joke. It's for members of the society to pat their own backs for spending the most money on the cause. <laughs> It's a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state, but I'm glad the Society has the nerve to do something about it. Huh. Could we talk about something else? <laughs> okay. That's all then? Uh... Okay. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future Society events. Mm, his behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Uh-huh. It's for the society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. Huh. Is this about that feature SSN and run a few years ago? I can assure you, this is a legitimate charity organization. Oh, I see, okay. Nice to have met you. 
Ha. An open bar would have been nice. But Trident's gouging us for every That view is got. absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people, if he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. <laughs> I heard it's fitted with 12 internally flawless two-carat blue diamonds. Can you believe that? Huh. The Society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S. A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. Interesting. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the event. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Can't talk to you. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Oh. Quite a lovely starliner. Nothing but the best. Yes. He's some kind of top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. <laughs> Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Interesting. I'm a silver member of the society, but only a hundred thousand more credits and I hit the gold tier. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, that was boring. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging oh, us for every can. credit we've... That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Interesting. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Okay, yeah. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Oh, yeah. Here for business or pleasure? Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Uh -huh. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee oh. this year. The way she dotes or... Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the event. Claudia Swist. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Guessing there's ah, oh, there's stairs right there. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Sorry, do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. His wife? <laughs> Oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy?
Your ex-corp? Then there's no fooling you, is there? I don't have the cash to buy your silence, but I can give you information that might help you bury Dombrowski. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. <laughs> Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who the hell you were. For all I knew, you were working for Dombrowski. It's called playing it cool. You should try it sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. <laughs> I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Interesting. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the creds are clean. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. So you weren't hacking. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Uh, the Nail his ass right oh, that the would have been cool to find the people that were doing that. That would have been cool. Ran into the people that ran the ATM scheme, because, yeah, we never found out who did it. That's the purser's office. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. You betcha. Have a safe journey. Gabriel at oh there's only one quest marker huh boy this is becoming detective work <sighs> remember to obey all posted safety and mustering okay that's video we'll see you in the next half